Hello, Purple Rosa here and I'm on the public test server with the Greymore chapter and I'm going to check out the new furniture items that will be available. First up I'm going to check out what's in the crown store. I noticed when I logged in with the ad pop-up that there's some new furniture bundles and a new statue. So first let's look at the Vampiric Sovereign statue. As you can see, it's dark, evil, and cool in its own way. I know vampire theme's not for everyone, but I'm excited for Greymore because I love vampires. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the red mode with the bats around it. Got a purplish mode. You know how I feel about purple. <laughs> And yeah, he's got fire or whatever that is out of his hands. That's fire. So yeah, and then inactive. So I'll purchase that to show you how big it is. Uh, let me just place it. Statues. There it is. So yeah, it's pretty big as you can see I'll just do that to show you it's kind of cool so we'll check out its different modes oh and his eyes glow I kind of like that mode Got the fire out of the hands. Inactive. But yeah, I do like the red with the bats swirling around. So I'll just move him down so you get a better look at his face. Evil looking. <laughs> so yeah, his eyes glow with the that mode. It's kind of neat. So I'll just put him back where he was. So yeah, that's the Statue Vampiric Sovereign. And the bundle I haven't looked at yet. So we'll see what it has quickly first. Oh, it's only got two items. So this bundle is called the Vampiric Libations. So it's got a basin of loss. Oh, that's pretty neat. Most of the fountains that we have are clean, clear water type fountains, but this one, darker, evil looking fountains, cool. And we got a soul swarm thrall. So the furniture pack only has two items. I hope it's not too expensive. So, we'll purchase that. So what was the basin of loss? It'll probably be under fountains. No. Okay, basin. Under services special. So it says it's interactable. So, let's see. That's really big. So, reduce vampire stage. Oh! So you need... As you can see, it says on the top right, I need vampire stage 2 or higher. As I'm not a vampire. Actually, my high elf is a vampire. So I did switch to my vampire character, but... He's stage one vampire, which obviously got changed to due to the vampire changes. So I can't use this. But as it says reduce vampire stage, I'm thinking if you're stage two, three or four of your vampire, it'll reduce it. So maybe stage, if you're stage four, 
and you click on this, it'll reduce it to stage 3, from 3 to 2 and 2 to 1. Not sure if that's true, but I'm just guessing. But either way, this is a cool looking fountain. And yeah, let's check out the other item. It's the Soul Swan Thrall. It is a target dummy. So let's see what he looks like. I'll just move him into the light a bit. Even though the sun's over there. So yeah, he's a target dummy. Not a very strong one by the looks of it. Oh, my whirlwind skill animation has changed. Anyway. So yeah, he'll obviously come back. There he is. So that's the Soul Swarm Thrall. So yeah, that pack just comes with those two items. Pretty disappointing because I was hoping for like some vampire like chairs, tables and stuff, but those two items are pretty cool. But I love that statue. Now we'll check out what else is in the furniture crown store so there is a new post it's called the vampiric column ancient it's a nice big post and i like how it's it's not too dark or too light, it's just in between the colouring. Okay, under yard ornaments there's the watering trough. Oh yeah. That is awesome. We've been waiting for a trough actually filled with water to put in our stables and that. Not only that, you could have this near a blacksmith work station to make it look real i don't know but yeah what a trial that is a must hopefully we can get one in game oh so there's a bunch of new solitude furniture okay we got the solitude bench oh that's cool we need more long type benches the Solitude Bench Rustic. Rustic Long. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sturdy and Sturdy Long. I kind of like this one because it's like a log that's cut in half. It looks more natural. I like it. The Solitude Pew. Oh wow, that's cool. The Noble Lung. I like how they have like a smaller one and the longer one. The Ornate Solitude Pew and the Ornate Lung. So they don't look too different. But they both still look good. Okay, we got the Solitude Pew Sturdy. Oh, that's cool. The sturdy long. It's like a park bench. Yes, vampire pew. Ah, oh, that. That is what I want with vampire furniture. I really love that. So chairs, we got the solitude armchair. Oh, wow. That is, the detail on that is awesome. The Armchair Noble. 
the armchair ornate ornate low yeah I like these with the designs on them the armchair wicker oh yeah solitude armchair wood I like these nat more natural looking type chairs so we got the solitude chair wicker just without just without the arm rest like that one okay the vampiric armchair ornate yes and the vampiric chair fanged oh that is awesome about time they give us vampire furniture <laughs> Okay, there's two counters. We got the Solitude Counter Rustic Bar. I kind of like that. The Solitude Counter Rustic Bar Corner. Yeah, I like this. Okay, tables. There's this Solitude Sideboard Rustic. The circ oh, circular table. Oh, that is awesome. The design on that. It's cool. The circular ornate small. The grand noble. Oh, wow. That could be like a 10 or a 12 seated table. That's cool. <laughs> table round. Round small, the table rustic, rustic large, I like these more larger tables, table square, square low, I like that one too, the square ornate, ornate low, Ornate, that's interesting that one. And the ornate large. And the vampire ones. Vampire sideboard long, oh yes. That is cool. Circular table too. I like the design on these vampire ones. Table grand, oh yeah. I like the colour of the wood. Vampire table small. And the square low. Stop everything. There's paintings. And these look like the ones from Dragonhold. So we got simple five claw life painting. I really like that one. I like all of these. <laughs> a warm welcome awaits painting. That looks like one in Skyrim. Before the trade gathering. That's the elsewhere style. Boon companion. Oh yes. That is awesome. Catnap. Yeah, that's one of the load screens in Elsewhere. <laughs> the contrast. So yeah, some of these are new, never seen before. Depths of Darkness. That's cool. Some Dwarven stuff in there. That must be underground. Dockside painting. It's kind of dark. Elsewhere dome. That's cool. I like these elsewhere ones. Elsewhere vista. Eternal moment. Oh, that one's awesome. Fields of plenty. Ah. Uh, Getting that witch's song stuck in my head. <laughs> Good.
gargoyle paintings. That's cool. The Yarl of Morthal. Oh yeah. Life of Repose. Light as Art. Oh, that one's evil. I like it. What's the back? Oh yeah. The Luminescence. Oh, that's neat. I like a lot of these new paintings. Hopefully they will be available in game. So we got the paintings of Kajiti Arch. Paintings of Nord. Oh, wow. Finally a ship painting. That's cool. There's quite a few paintings of Arch. So that's Solitude. Cool. Red Mist. Oh wow. River's Journey. Scion's Throne. Oh wow. That's big. Evil looking solitude painting. So that's... Hold on, where was it? It was further up. But that's a bigger version. Still life in death. Okay. Stillness everlasting. Oh, that's kind of cool, a skull. Oh, there's more. The Bridge of Dragon. The Dragon Bridge. Deception of Light. Oh, yeah. The Keep. That one's cool. The Light Within. Oh, yeah. The Scion Strides Forth. He must be the bad guy in Greymore, but I'm not sure. Ursine Wandering. Oh, it's just a pet. I like how there's more animals. There's the bear. There was almost a yarl and a dog. There was that dragonfly. So yeah, quite a lot of paintings. Ones from Elsewhere and Dragonhold. And new ones for Greymore, which I hope some of them will at least be available from in-game. We got some backpacks. The basket centerpiece. Oh yeah, that, that's kind of cool. The basket ornate. The wicker handles. The wicker hide. Basket wicker. It's like a picnic basket. And another basket. We've got some new breads. There's the floral pattern bread. It's cool. The bread long. Like a French stick. The partial loaf. Rustic loaf. And the rustic slice. Oh, it's actually sliced. That's cool. So there's some new cabinets. We got the ornate wall cabinet. The ornate cabinet. Oh, that's awesome. I like that one. And the cabinet wall. That one's also cool. Some new cookware. We got the flat bottomed cauldron. Cauldron hanging. Metal empty. Long handled frying pan. Oh yeah. The trivet. Frying pan wood handled. So this long frying pan must be if you want to use it over a fire but not get too close to the fire. And the double boiler. 
Okay, we got the Solitude Gravy Boat. The Metal Serving Bowl. Another Serving Bowl. Serving Bowl Wood. I kind of like this Serving Dish Metal. And this Serving Dish Wood. Like this one here. You could just use it as a decorative piece on a table or somewhere else. Okay, there's the Solitude Drinking Horn. The Nords like their drinking horns. The Goblet Covered. Goblet Not Work. Oh, it looks like it's got blood in it. Goblet Noble. I like the ruby red gems on this. The rustic stein, stain, however you say it. Oh, there's some vampire goblets too. The fluted goblet and the full. I like these ones. Vampires like living in style. Okay, we've got the solitude breakfast eggs and ham. That's a lot of eggs. <laughs> the breakfast full, so you got sausages, eggs and bacon or ham, <laughs> sausage and ham. The fish stew. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a big fish head though. <laughs> The hearty stew. The vegetable soup. Rustic meal. What is that? Oh yeah, it's got mushrooms. Bread. I think that's a fish cut in half. Interesting. There's the hearty stew pot. And the vegetable soup. Oh yeah, these pots are kind of cool. So we got the Solitude Platter Ribs. With all these new food items you can actually make like a proper banquet. Got the Fresh Eel. Don't know about that one. And the Stockfish. Okay, we got the Large Ceramic Pot. Oh, that's nice. The narrow metal, the stout, wide, the large sealed. Yeah, I like this. Got the bowl of berries, bowl of mushrooms. Oh, cool. And winter onions. That was kind of neat. I like that. So we got the Solitude Drying Rack Fish. Barrel Empty. Smoking Rack. Oh! That is cool! You could actually make your own like little smoking shed or smoking area. I really like that. A wine rack. Nice to have another wine rack with actual wine bottles on it compared to the elsewhere one. And the vampiric sideboard. That is huge. I like that. So we got the solitude desk. The vampiric desk. Oh, yes. I like that one. It's like got curved uh, drawers. Vampiric lectern. Okay, we got the solitude bookcase. Wow. The bookcase filled. Narrow bookcase. Narrow bookcase filled. 
I like how they have two versions. The empty and the full. The narrow noble. Narrow noble cabinet. The cabinet filled. Narrow noble filled. The narrow rustic. I like that one. Narrow rustic filled. Oh, there's more. Solitude book case noble. It's quite a few. I like that one. And a full version. There's that one as well. There's quite a few of these bookcases. I like that one. With the doors. That one's good too. Rustic filled. Oh, that one's interesting. Like a magazine rack. Noble filled. Uh, there's some vampire ones. Hopefully these are good. Yeah. That one's full. The short. Yeah, I like that one. Short filled. Tall one. I like these vampire ones. And the sideboard. Yeah, that one's cool too. So we got a vampire brazer. I kind of like that one. Got the solitude candlestick horn. And there's some new chandeliers. We got the solitude chandelier horns. Lit and unlit. The solitude chandelier steel. Oh, look at that one. And the vampiric. Oh, wow. So I'm going to get these two just to show you. So, oh, this vampire one has pretty long, pretty long chain. It would even fit here in here nicely. Just lower it a bit. So yeah, as you can see, like the chain there is just touching the ceiling. So that would light up the area pretty nicely. I'll just get rid of those so you can see. So yeah, as you can see, it's dark in here. But with that one, it like lights up the whole room. So I'm hoping this vampire one is craftable. So I'll place the Nord one. Sorry, the Solitude one. Its chain isn't as long. It does give nice light. But compared to the Vampire one, doesn't give that much but yeah I love that vampire one it gives a lot of light so let's continue looking so we got the vampiric lamp kind of cool and the lamp amber triple got the solitude lantern hanging and the lantern table oh that one's cool like a candle in a metal tube type thing. I kind of like that. Okay, there's the Solitude Street Light Paired. I like that one. It's got like wolf heads. The Street Lamp Single. And the Vampire ones. The Double. I like how it looks gothic. And the single. Yeah. 
There's the Solitude Sconce Candle. Candle Embellished. Sconce Horn. Lantern. Oh, there's a torch. That's kind of cool. Oh yes, the wolf's head. I really like that one. The wrought iron. Oh, I like that one. It's very solitude style. And the vampire amber. Okay, we have a charis egg. Dormant. I know these don't look like the eggs from the alien movies, but you could pretend that they are and make your own alien cave. <laughs> so we got the vampire drapes. Oh yes. The tall. Oh, tall arch. Oh, I like that. Oh, look how big that is. Hold on, I'll do it in here. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. That's cool. Vampire drapes. Okay, knickknacks. We got Solitude Game, Warrior and the Wolf. Okay, that's cool. The jewelry box. Wolf's head pyrograph, a jewelry box as well. Okay, rugs and carpets. Got the grand wolf's head border. That's a big rug. I'll show you how big it is. As you can see, it fits in this space quite nicely and it looks really nice as well yeah I like that rug we need more big rugs got the insert square I kind of like how there's more plain type rugs because like with the elsewhere ones I love the elsewhere ones but they're really colourful and we do need some more plain type rugs. I do like that one. Oh, that one's nice. The plush worn. The small. Could be like a door rug. The wolf's head... Wolf's head border. Oh yeah, the wolf's head around. I like that. Cowhide, not work rug, I like that one, plain rug, a snow bear, solitude runner wolf, oh yeah I like that one, it's like that big one but smaller, okay let's see the vampire ones, oh that's a deep red. Oh yeah, that is cool. I like that rug. I might have to do a vampire build. The carpet large, yeah I like that one. Carpet sigil. Standard. Circular sigil. Oh, triangular. That one's interesting. Triangular rug. And I'm out of furniture slots. But you saw it. And the runner. Okay, there's the solitude bed double. The single. That's a bear skin single. A cowhide. <laughs> okay, let's see the vampire ones. 
Oh yeah. I like that one. The bed full. Oh, black. Black covering on that one. I like that. And the single. But yeah, I kind of like the red one. I'll just show you. Grand looking bed. I like it. Okay, there's a vampiric divider. Oh, that is awesome. I like that one. Okay, there's the chest of drawers. Okay, there's the vampire dresser. Oh yeah, that's very... Very upper class looking. I like the vampire stuff. Okay, we've got some new hand mirrors. Oh, there's a full length mirror. Oh, it's a bit chipped at the bottom. <laughs> this mirror here, I know it says it's a mirror, but you could actually probably use it as a window, like a fake window, maybe if you wanted to. Especially these round ones. Oh, I like that one. Okay, the vampire. Ooh, yeah, that one's awesome. And a wall mirror. Nightstands. Oh, that one's interesting. There's one drawer in it. Two cupboards. Okay, there's no vampire nightstand. Got the Solitude Iron Band Strongbox. That one's interesting. Oh, that one actually has a picture on it. I like that. Travel chest. That's cool. Oh, there's some vampire ones too. The ornate metal. Polished wood. Okay, there's some wardrobes. The noble and the rustic and the vampire one. Love the design. Okay, there's solitude sensor. There's two of them. One with their wolf head. Oh yeah, it's got the wolf heads there. I like that one. There's the trowel empty. Barstool wicker. The wood one. And a footstool. Okay, lastly, there's the solitude bucket, a hammer, we do need more tools, so I like how they've given us these, a hand drill, patching kit, you could actually have that if you're making like a clothing shop or a tanner shop that make armour or something, whatever they're called. Got the scrapper, a skewer, yeah I like all these new tools, and the wedge pick. So that's all the new furniture items, do let me know what you think of these in the comments below, and I'll see you around, thanks for watching.